Welcome to the Open Dental webinar on Treatment Finder Report. This report is especially useful to quickly find active patients who have unscheduled treatment plan procedures to create those appointments and have them come into the office. So from the reports area, we're gonna to go to standard. And then in the list area on the right hand side, we're gonna to go to treatment finder. And here is the initial results of the report. The default of the report is not going to have patients without insurance. It's also not going to include patients with upcoming appointments. Up here across the top, we can indicate what the insurance month start is going to be. The default is calendar year, to where it'll reset in January. If a patient has insurance that resets on a day, a month other than January, we can go ahead and select that. But here's the default for the calendar year. The treatment plan from and treatment plan to date are when those treatment plans were created. The default is to go back a year. We can also sort by clinics as well as provider and billing type if need be. Across the top here on each one of these columns, we can sort by clicking on the top of any one of these columns. Just a couple examples there. If we also want to, we can separate by a specific procedure code range. Say we just want to look for patients that have restorative procedures that are treatment planned. We can input that range. Anytime we make a change in these selections, we'll always want to click refresh list. And now here are those patients that have treatment plan procedures in this range. Maybe we want to look for patients that have endodontic procedures that are needing to be completed. We'll put in that endodontic range, click refresh list, and here are those. I'll remove those code ranges again to get our list back and of course click in refresh list. Again, I'm going to sort this by the highest amount treatment plan going down to the lowest. As we highlight a particular patient in this list, that will automatically behind us change us to the patient that we've selected. We can also highlight a patient and use these buttons at the bottom to go to that family module to look at insurance or to go to the account module to look at the account. We can highlight several patients at the same time to select those information, or we can use the control key and highlight particular patients in the list however we want. So we want to generate a letter for all these patients. We would then go to the letters preview and that will generate a letter based off of the treatment plan treatment finder template. I'll show an example of that real quick. Letters preview. Here's the patient letter treatment finder that is located in the sheets area of Open Dental. And here's an example of what that letter looks like. You can customize this again within the sheets area of Open Dental. And for more information on sheets, you can go to our YouTube page, link from our webinars from opendental.com, and then our webinars page.
And these are all the webinars regarding sheets, forms, and our kiosk. I'll close out of here. There is an option to save these letters to the patient's imaging folder. Once we preview that letter, I just selected not to at this time. Again, these letters are very useful at the end of the year or when tax refund season is happening, where patients may have additional funds to be able to complete their treatment. When we click print list, that's simply going to be everything that we see on this page is going to print in that list. Again, labels preview, it'll pull the information for the name and address if it's there off of the patient's account. In the export file is going to export this information exactly how we see it here to a text file. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.